Perfect. Welcome back to the Mountain Good Morning time. Show. We are live on Park City Television, joined by one of our favorite nonprofits, the People's Health Clinic, and of course, a frequent guest executive director, Beth Armstrong, and she always brings amazing friends and colleagues that we want to support and introduce to you as well. And today we are joined by Shauna Wiest, the Connect Summit County a new executive director. Good yes. morning. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. So Beth, you always bring people that we want to, to know more about. Tell us what the collaboration here is. So uh, this past Monday, we uh, joined up with Connect Utah and the Christian Center, and we had a meeting um, at McPolin Elementary, and um, we, we had a nice attendance, and I think Shauna could speak more to exactly what they spoke about. Um, she ran the meeting. She was the meeting runner. We were just... Um, you propping her up and getting more attendees just giving there. Giving more of a of an audience for Shauna and so for yes. people who may not be aware, let's start with what Connect is. Sure, Connect Summit County is a relatively new nonprofit. Um, we were established one year ago, actually in April, and our goal is to raise awareness about mental health services in Summit County. We're looking to fund additional uh, behavioral health in Summit County and expand the capacity and access to the public, to providers in the community. Mm -hmm. And we have a lot of educational programming. We have many community partners, including the People's Health Clinic. And this event on um, Monday night was for the Latino community. Connect in the last few months has received a lot of calls from uh, this community, very anxious, very um, concerned, anxiety, depression over the recent uh, politics in of the course. United States. And so we decided rather than waiting, we would have an event that addressed this uh, stress they're feeling, mm -hmm. um, uh, deportation issues. So we had Latino Behavioral Health Services come to McPolin Elementary. The, cl the class was taught entirely in Spanish. We had an immigration lawyer who came. Mm -hmm. And so they could just kind of, um, you know, quell their concerns and explain what resources were available to them. Um, we Connect has created a list of Spanish-speaking therapists in Summit County, so there's a go-to spot for them. So it was it was a very nice event. You we created were, such a lovely safe space absolutely. just to voice their concerns and yes. then have really qualified resources to answer questions. Yes, exactly. So let me ask too, because there's so many fantastic nonprofits mm -hmm. that are here in the Park City and Wasatch communities. This has only been around for about a year. What was yes. the catalyst in the development phase where, where the community said, okay, this is something we need. This is something that's not part of our landscape yet that needs to be. Well, the story was very personal. I work with Ed and Lynn Rutan, and they had a son. Uh, they do have a son who has mental health challenges. And there were other individuals, too, who had children or loved ones who had mental health issues and weren't able to seek help. Mm -hmm. And myself, I have a child who has mental health challenges. And unfortunately, Unfortunately, we exhausted all of our resources in Summit County. We exhausted all of our resources in uh, Salt Lake, and we had to take our son out of state, state ultimately for treatment. And I resigned to my job. I was in the legal field for 25 years to um, make this my full-time endeavor, working with Connect mm -hmm. and really increasing access to mental health services for the individuals of Summit County. When I think some of the most successful and clearly the most passionate people when they join an organization, it's because it comes from a personal place and, it and a does. personal drive. It absolutely does for Connect. And what a wonderful resource that you're now providing from not only your own personal experience, but from those of others to say, Look, don't make the same mistakes or don't make the same struggles or let me figure out a way that it would be more inclusive and more open for everybody in the community. You are exactly right. And that's not only for finding a doctor, but it's navigating the insurance issues when mm. you have a child who's ill. It's, it's trying to find the right specialist. It's trying, it's really being an advocate for your child and I always think now well what if you have a child or a loved one who doesn't have an advocate how can we best direct those individuals and that's what connect tries to do what a wonderful advocate and Beth you have such a wonderful relationship with nonprofits throughout Park City and so many great partnerships yeah. how wonderful is it for you coming from more of the medical side of things to have this new partnership in the community it is one of the uh, it's one of the holds in Park City and one of the things in Summit County um, that we're missing and the nice thing is is that we've also partnered with um, many other organizations so mm -hmm. Connect has uh, we have monthly meetings where we get together and discuss 
um, how to move mental health forward in the community. So it's very important to um, provide the information and to give people um, choices on where to go. Right now, yes. there aren't a lot of choices. There aren't, but we are changing that. We are. Yeah, we, are. we are working with the University of Utah. We're working with IHC to increase the number of providers that are available. Well, and I think also just having the resource out there, having these discussions, it also removes a lot of the stigma with acknowledging that yes. you need to get support, with acknowledging that this exists in the community. Yeah. You and know, a lot of times it's like, oh, that's not really a problem. And that's know? one of the missions of Connect is to reduce that stigma and make it okay for people to reach out. And we we do notice at Connect that after we have an event like Monday nights, our phones ring off the hook for mm. people that they may have not attended the event, but they heard about it and they want more information. They want to know where they can go. And we're in a position now where we do have the resources to um, help them. So for people who want to attend an upcoming event yes. and want to learn more about or support Connect financially or in other ways, how can we learn more? Um, you can learn more by going to our website. It's connectsummitcounty.org. We also have a Facebook page and there's a lot of information on both of those pages. In addition, we are going to be having our May Mental Health Awareness Month coming up and we are going to have approximately 26 events in the month of May um, to, to promote I know it's <laughs> a lot. Already taught, yeah. I know it's a lot <laughs> to promote mental events. health research um, and awareness. But we have people coming from out of state, amazing yeah. speakers. So that brochure, I actually just sent it to print <laughs> yesterday. You and only had 26 events. I to know, confirm, and just so that's <laughs> a lot of eyes to dot and T's to cross. But that a brochure will be coming out soon. And we're also having a research showcase on May 2nd to kick off mental health awareness. Awareness Month at the Waldorf Astoria Hotel and we're going to have six researchers, mental health researchers from the University of Utah uh, showcase their recent uh, research efforts at, and these are in the areas of opiate addiction, brain science, why does mental illness affect some people and not others? Mm -hmm. um, for aging people, what happens with the neuroplasticity of the brain that causes Alzheimer's? And they're only 15 minutes apiece, but it's gonna be on May 2nd at 6.30 p.m. and the public is welcome. And everything, I'm sure, can be found on your website as Absolutely. well. Absolutely, or in the brochure or on Facebook. <laughs> in yes. the new printed brochure. Yes. It'll be hot off the presses. Yes. Well, Shauna, congratulations Thank on your new you. position. I it sounds that. like you were making up for lost time. Yes. And and lost resources. We're going to catch up fast. And Beth, as thank always, you. thank you thank for you. bringing amazing community members to our show. Thank you so always much for so having much us. Fun. All right, now for everybody that wants to put their money where their heart is, make sure that you visit one of our favorite nonprofit websites at the People's Health Clinic to see how you can donate and get involved. And now we have another one, Connect, happening right here in the state of Utah. We're going to take a quick break here on the Mountain Morning Show and be back with much more in our second live hour. You're watching Park City Television.